Hey y'all, what's up, what's good? It's Freddie Mac with Freddie Cooks International. Today I'm back with another video for you. Today I'm going to be doing a DG haul that is Dollar General haul. And I'm also going to be trying the Wendy's Pretzel Burger. So, before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. If you're here, I love you for watching. And let's get started. I won't keep you long, I promise. Um, So, I'm here in my new kitchen. Everybody you know who have been following me that I have moved. And I am loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm in my new kitchen, which is so much bigger. Like two, maybe three times bigger than my previous place. Um, I have to show you, give you a tour of the place, but first I'm going to be, again, doing a, a Dollar General haul. I got a few things I want to show you what I got. Just because I'm putting my groceries away and I want you to see. Why not? I've got the DiGiorno Supreme Pizza. Ooh. And I already got so much stuff in here. I don't know where this, I didn't think about where I'm going to put it. Ooh. Okay. So, but I have to take the ice tray out because there's no ice in there. And then I have to just slide that right there. Okay. Arby's curly fries. Some ground beef. I got this from Dollar General. Now, there was, once upon a time, Dollar General did not have freezers in their stores. It was just dry goods. And now they have food. Lucky for me, I don't have to go to Walmart because I hate going to Walmart. Don't like Target. Yes, I said I don't like Target. It's just a more expensive Walmart, and I don't like either one of those. Because I've got the Dollar General, the store brand for Breeze. Um, some favorite sauce for the. I needed to get some more um, dish detergent and something that you could not find anywhere during the middle of the pandemic. Clorox. Thank God. Minute Maid Fruit Punch. Woo! Love me some juice. I love to drink on stuff. That's a favorite of mine. Got some medium. Pace. Picante. Pace! And some bold. I don't know if you ever had this, y'all. I haven't tried it, but I will try it. The bold ginger ale. Let me go ahead and get, that, get a nice chill on that. Need to get some vegetable oil. Got some, what are those things called? Wraps. Some tortillas. Had to get some milk. Got the milk because I had to get some. Now this, I don't know if you're like me, that's the stuff going off because I have my burger in the oven so that it doesn't get too cold. It takes me at least 15 minutes to decide what kind of cereal that I'm going to get because I try to get something different and I have my favorites, but I like trying different cereals. I don't know, eat, I'm not a cereal person. I don't eat cereal that often, but when I do, I like, I don't know. I like cereal. I just don't eat it that often. Honey Smacks. This is something, this is probably my second time in life getting Fruity Pebbles. I hear a lot of people who like Fruity Pebbles. I got a cake mix. I'm gonna make some um, red velvet, some fried red velvet balls. I don't know, you call them, there's a, a specific name you call them, where you fry it on top of the stove and balls and then put the icing around it. I'm gonna make that, I'll do a video on that. Uh, what else I got? Some random, just random stuff. Star Crunch, I used to love Star Crunch. I'll eat it with my milk. So, as you know, as you probably can guess, that I'm going to be doing some laundry. So, got a lot of laundry stuff. Whoever came up with this, plugins, a genius. Makes your house smell so good. And this is a pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice. Love gingerbread. Love sweet smelling, um, dessert smelling, fave fragrances. Got some cream cheese. Gonna use that for my icing for my red velvet drops. I'm almost finished, y'all. Just putting my groceries away before I eat some sour cream. I'm gonna do some tacos pretty soon. That does, that does not go in the refrigerator. I'm trying to hurry up. I'm trying to hurry up, and I've got y'all know I'll be on the five calorie drink mix. Yes, got an orange. You got a what is this? Fruit, what is it? Oh, fruit juicy red, Hawaiian punch. 
probably going to combine those together one day. Okay, so that's it for my Dollar General haul. Oh, I also got big thing of washing powder because I got to do some laundry. That's it for the haul. Now, let's get to eating. See you soon. Hey, and I'm back with the pretzel burger from Wendy's. I never had it before, so I hope it's good. And I also have a blackberry slush from Sonics. I'm not going to keep it in this plain, boring cup. I'm going to pour it in here. When you can see it, I'm sure it tastes better. It tastes much better, at least to me. You didn't even see that. Okay. So this is a blackberry slush from Sonics. I love Sonic slushes. So good. So good. Mmm. Better than I imagine. I hope this burger does not disappoint me. Oh, so this is going to be my new setup, I think. I don't know. But um, no more orange walls behind me. Now you have the kitchen. I, like I said, I am going to do a tour to show you around the place. But the kitchen, if you can see, much bigger. I left the stainless steel appliances for this white stove, but I got so much more in return. So, nevertheless, we're here for the sandwich. Blood thing for this food I'm about to receive. Let's let let go. All right, so this is the first taste of the pretzel burger. Oh, it looks good and cheesy. I hope it's good. Have you had it before? Okay, take a bite. All right, here we go. I got some vinegar and salt chips here. I don't really want any fries. So my first impression of that is just meat, bread, and cheese. That's all I taste. I mean, it's not nasty, but how can it be? It's meat, bread, and cheese. Mmm. That's a new taste. Now, what kind of sauce is that? Is it a cheese sauce? That's different. Give me some more of that sauce. Mmm. I like that sauce. Is it like a thousand I thousand island cheese sauce? What is that? Mmm. Or is it mayo and, mayo and mustard? Hmm. I didn't realize it had a special sauce on it. I think I like it. I mean, the bun is not anything extra special, but it's nice and soft. And it's good. It's okay.
I'm not sure I'm going to be dying to go get a pretzel burger. But I'm hungry. It's hitting the spot. Is it worth a try? Why not? It's decent. What is that? Oh, my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So, I haven't been recording as much. Few and far between. That's because I'm still trying to get acclimated to my new place. Absolutely love my new place. I love this. I love where I'm living. Moved out into the country where, where I'm used to. I grew up in the country. I'm just not a city boy. <laughs> it just feels like home. And I really, before I left, I felt like I wish I could take my apartment with me because I love my apartment. But I love this townhouse so much more than I loved my old apartment. So much more. This feels like home. And to answer some questions out there, I did not get a new job. I kept my old job in the city. It's from Alpharetta. I'm just going to be working remote. That is an opportunity that they presented me. And I'm taking it. And I took it all the way. So where am I living? MIS. ISS. MOUSE. It's gonna be a short mukbang, short video. Really checking back with in with you all, just to say hello. With a little Dollar General grocery home. Uh, I didn't have a Dollar General near me. I love Dollar General. Sorry, I'm not too bougie for Dollar General. As a matter of fact, my store is really the Dollar Tree, where everything is one dollar. Now. With a Dollar Tree, you have to be careful because there's some things in there that's actually less than a dollar, but it's still a dollar in the Dollar Tree. Just have to know what to get. But, um, yeah. So, it's very close to me, even though it's not in town. It's, it's so weird how things here are set up. Um, I'm in the middle of the country, but there is a Dollar General, like, literally two minutes away. But there is no town. It's just a Dollar General store in the middle of nowhere. And to be honest, I'll drive to Dollar General any day before I go to Walmart. I'm sorry, I don't like Walmart. And now, they got that gate. I have to walk around that big old ugly gate every time. That just, I don't know, something irks me about Walmart. So, I'm not going to keep you long. Mukbang is over. The sandwich was good. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you for watching. Until next time. <laughs>